hello creatives you're welcome back to my youtube channel again this is david gladness and on this particular video tutorial i'm going to be showing you on how you can replicate this simple um logo mock-up you're seeing right on your screen making use of your pixel lab and mocking it up making use of the photo p website okay so without further ado let's proceed with the video tutorial All right, you're welcome back to the video. Now, this is the first part of this particular video because we are going to be using Pixel Lab, we are going to be using Canva Hub, and we are also going to be using the Photo P, right? But then this video alone is for Pixel Lab. So if you are using Pixel Lab, you can continue watching. But then if you are using Canva Hub for your designs, do well to check the second part or better still you watch this to the end at the end automatically the video is going to pop up and you can watch that of canva tutorial but then this particular one is for the pixel lab users now what you need to know is that before you can design a logo mock-up you must have created a design making use of your design software okay there is also a way you can design making use of photo p but then in this process we are going to be using pixel lab for our main design which is this this is all we need to design making use of pixel lab then we are going to mock it up making use of the photo p so this is going to take you through the design process making use of pixel lab the part two is going to take you through the design process making use of canva app and the part three is going to take you through the mocking up process making use of the photo p app so First of all, I am going to return my design, to, uh, my, my page to the default page, okay? Now, what I did basically was, I only brought in a circle. It's a very, very simple logo, right? I brought in a circle shape, then I made use of um, a black color, right? You can make use of any color in your home case. Now, after bringing it in, I duplicated this circle. I click on edit, then this time around, I changed this color to a white color. Now... I'm going to click on edit, then reduce the, um, the, 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 the shape a little bit. Now, I'll activate my grid line to something like this. Then, I'll just position it like this. You can see that. To so just give me that kind of sharp edge, then I'll click on this mark icon. And as you can see, we now have the um, effect we want to create. Now, I'm going to match them together by clicking on the layer icon. I'll click on this particular one as well. Then, I'll lock the boats together. All right. Now the next thing I'm going to do is to duplicate this particular shape. But before duplicating it, I'll go to my erase color. Okay. I'll click on erase color. Now let me change the background so that you can see what I'm doing properly. You can see it right here. So now I'll go to my erase color by clicking on this place. Now when I click on erase color, that white color will erase automatically. But as you can see, we have some white particles remaining you can see them we have some kind of white particles. So we are going to increase the tolerance. You can also reduce this in, in some cases. Okay, you can reduce this in, in some cases, but then in this case, we are increasing it so as to get rid of that um, particular white particles. And I think this is actually okay. Then you tap on mark. Then we can return this back to the normal. Now we'll go to color. We'll go to color, enable our color. Now the color we want to use is actually going to be a yellow color, but then I have the color code already. So I'll just input the color code right here. So the color code is F57F17. Then I'll tap on this mark icon f57 f17 then i'll click on ok and as you can see i have gotten the color i want to use right so i'll click on color and change back my background color to white so you can see what i'm doing properly now the next thing i'm going to do is to duplicate this particular but before that let's reduce the size a bit right then i'm going to duplicate this particular um this particular one then when I duplicate it this time around, I'm going to reduce the size a little. Then I'll activate my grid line to make sure they're on the same line. You can see that, right? I will increase the size by going to my relative size and increase it. Yes. Yeah, this is great. Now I'll go to stroke. I'll go to stroke. I'll go to stroke. Add a stroke. Now this time around, I want to use a darker shade of this particular color so i think this was the color i actually used for my stroke this particular one now the color code look at the color code right here cd6100 cd6100 then i will click on ok so i only use a darker shade it's like practicing monochromatic color right so i will tap on this mark icon now you see the shape of the that, that, that particular circle shape i want to change it to a lighter shade of circle so i'll just click on color of of yellow rather 
then I'll tap on plus. Now I think um the color code I used, I have it, I have the color code I used, which was this particular one. So the color code is FFA04B. FFA04B. Then I'll tap on this mark icon and click on OK. And as you can see, we now have a lighter shade. And this is how I came about this particular concept. Alright, as you can see. Now the next thing I'm gonna do is to move this to the front a bit. And yes, in such a way that this place is going to be covered. You can see that. So the name of the brand are it and please this is not um a logo i worked for for a brand okay it's just a simple concept right now the next thing i'm going to do is to match up the two layers together i will match them together by clicking on this place then i will match the both of them together so that it can become one right so you can increase the size then when you increase the size you can copy then delete this particular one the reason is because when you increase the size of your element it tends to lose its potential quality so i'll just position it right here now the next thing i'm gonna do the name of the brand is comfort supermarket so this is the logo itself this is the logo for the comfort supermarket now i want to add their name so that it can complete the logo in a way right so i'll just click on a i'm bringing a new text and then i'll edit it instead of comfort like this comfort right i will just clear the first c because the logo has represented it already then i will click on ok right now the font i used was um i think montserrat i used montserrat so i'll just search for the font montserrat yeah montserrat bold or better still let's use montserrat black yes now click on no i don't like this black it's too good all right let's just use montserrat board so i'm going to increase the size as well now we are going to be repeating the same thing with the color just like we did for the first one so we'll select this main color right then we'll go to stroke we'll go to stroke add a stroke now the stroke color we are going to be using is going to be this dark one this particular dark one then we'll increase the stroke to 10 but then i feel like reducing the size of this i'm positioning it around here you can see what i'm trying to do there i'm working with alignment yes i think this is actually okay now we are going to copy this particular text put it here edit it and just change it to supermarkets it's that simple so supermarkets Now I'm going to reduce the size of my text to something like this. Then adjust the padding in such a way that it's going to be aligned with that particular first text. Now we'll give it a spacing because that text and that stroke is making them close to each other. So I'll give it spacing to like five and then position them to be balanced yes now the next thing i'm going to do is to click on this icon right here i want to balance them together click on this icon click on this and this then click on this pencil icon then i'll click on relative position this is so that it will help us position our element at the middle properly now we can now adjust this to fit in the way we want it to be yes now we are going to tap on all the elements you can decide to match them you can decide to just leave them like that yeah and now we are done with our logo now if you want to save up your logo please make sure you save it in a transparent background right click on this icon you are seeing right here make sure you select transparent now when you select transparent make sure you save it as an ultra in ultra dimension right click on this make sure this is in ultra and make sure this format is in png then click on save to gallery so in the third episode i'm going to be showing you on how you can turn this particular logo into a mock-up design so if you're a canva user and you want to learn the design process making use of canva do well to check the next episode which is probably showing on your screen right now the canva tutorial and if you're a pixel lab user just check the third part and it is going to teach you on how you can actually do the mock-up process making use of the photo p app so thank you for stepping around to the end of this video tutorial see you on the next part